Uh, right now, I'm working on an alarm clock, and as my alarm source, I wanted to use this music box that plays Stairway to Heaven. So my goal this weekend is to make a music box module that I can drop into my alarm clock. For the motor, I've got this small DC gear motor that I took out of a battery-powered screwdriver. And to connect everything together, I'm gonna to 3D print the parts on my 3D printer. One thing to note is that I need to come up with a way to count the rotations of the music box so that I can stop the motor after one complete melody has been played. Let's get started. All right, everything's ready. I had to go out and buy rubber bands. And I've got my eye on one in here that looks like the right size. That's it right there. Rubber bands. All right. Awesome, it sounds great. So you may have been wondering what, what these wires are for, and I mentioned in the beginning that we need some way to count rotations. I'm using the body of the music box as a switch. When the, when the handle touches this little bent piece of wire, it bridges this red wire to this black wire, which is uh, screwed to the body of the music box. A lot of multimeters have a mode called continuity mode, with a symbol that looks like a sideways Wi-Fi. And all that continuity mode does, it will beep if the two probes are touching each other or they're electrically connected. So we can use this to test the switch mechanism. So if this, if this works right, it should beep uh, every rotation. Give it a shot. Everything works great. By counting the number of, of beeps we get, uh, we can make sure that we just play one melody. So thanks for watching. That was a fun project. I meant to do it in just a weekend, but it ended up taking a week.